this media is brought to you by Polyscope. AI Smackdown, Axels versus Doomers. Plus, Sam Altman makes a comeback. Good morning, I'm Cassie Bishop. And I'm Ray Turing. This is AI Daily for Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Breaking news in AI, curated by humans. Here are your top stories. Silicon Valley factions clash. AI doomers versus accelerationists. As AI rapidly progresses, Silicon Valley is divided into two camps. One group, known as doomers, fears an apocalyptic future caused by AI, while the other, accelerationists, believe in the positive potential of AI and advocate for its fast development. Venture capitalist Vinod Kosla dismisses doomers as conspiracy theorists and highlights the greater risk of China. The recent controversy involving OpenAI's corporate structure reflects the wary mindset surrounding AI. LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman shares Kozla's belief that the benefits of AI outweigh the risks, emphasizing the need to handle the future carefully. The economic race will be won by the country that wins the AI race, warns Kozla. Sam Altman makes a comeback, promising AI's world-uplifting potential. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, returns to the conference circuit to advocate for the benefits of AI to humanity. After reclaiming his leadership position at the renowned AI startup, Altman defends his exploratory approach to AI development, emphasizing its potential to advance fields such as healthcare and education. He notes his fascination with fictional rogue AIs like the Terminator, underlining the need for companies like OpenAI to push boundaries and realize the true potential of this technology. Meta unleashes multimodal AI features for Ray-Ban smart glasses. Meta, the company behind Ray-Ban smart glasses, is introducing its most exciting AI capabilities through an early access test. These multimodal AI features allow users to get real-time information from Meta's AI assistant using the glasses camera and microphones. Mark Zuckerberg demonstrated these features by asking the glasses to suggest matching pants for a shirt he was holding. The glasses AI assistant also showcased its translation and image captioning abilities. This limited test period will be available to a select number of people in the U.S. who choose to participate. Navigating AI in healthcare, trust, control, and building a healthier future. Concerns about AI in healthcare persist, with a Pew Research survey revealing discomfort among U.S. adults with the idea of relying on AI for diagnosis and treatment plans. However, the global AI in the healthcare market is proliferating, with funding directed towards personalized care and new technologies. While wearable tech and AI-powered solutions offer more control over personal health, trust is a significant concern. Organizations must establish their standards and communicate them to consumers until comprehensive regulations are in place. Success in implementing AI solutions requires understanding the technology, setting clear guidelines, communicating, addressing feedback, and staying up to date with changing trends. Generative AI Skills – The Next Frontier in Workforce Upskilling Investing in prompt engineering and ethical AI skills is crucial as companies embrace generative AI models. Thomson Reuters is integrating generative AI technology into its products, spending $100 million annually to enhance its offerings. Meanwhile, PhotoRoom and Insono provide insight into the challenges of adopting generative AI tools and upskilling their respective workforces. Athena Health and Insono prioritize training sessions and workshops with hundreds of employees attending sessions on generative AI. PwC Labs and Wipro Technologies emphasize comprehensive upskilling programs for their employees, covering the foundations of generative AI and customizing training for different industries and functions. AI threatens fully remote jobs. Can you stay employed as a gig worker? A Stanford professor warns that fully remote employees could lose their jobs to AI. Roles such as data entry, call centers, HR, and payroll 
are at high risk of being replaced within the next decade. However, the professor also suggests that in-person interaction is crucial to protect oneself from AI. On the bright side, hybrid workers who spend some time in the office may see increased productivity with AI assistance. The debate continues on the extent of AI's impact on the global workforce, but white-collar workers are most likely to be affected. This has been Ray Turing and Cassie Bishop for AI Daily. For links to these bonus stories and more, visit us at AIDaily.us and subscribe today.